I have the Xiaomi Redmi Note 10 right here. And today I'm going to show you how to boot this device into recovery mode. This is also going to work on the other devices in this series, including the Xiaomi Redmi Note 10 Pro, the Note 10 Pro Max, and the Note 10 S. So to start, we need to get the phone into a powered down state. So if you are able to boot into Android and you're able to access the power menu, we're just going to go into the power menu and turn the device off. If your Redmi Note 10 is in a boot loop and you're currently unable to boot into Android, you're still able to boot into recovery mode using this button combination method. You're just going to need to time the button combination press whenever you see the phone reboot. Usually when your phone's in a boot loop, it'll boot into a certain uh, boot menu screen and it'll turn off and it'll try again. So the goal is to simply press and hold the button combination right whenever your phone reboots. So for us, we're not currently in a boot loop, so we're easily able to power off the phone. Once the device is powered off, we're going to be pressing the power button as well as the volume up button. We're going to press both of those down and we're going to hold those two buttons down at, uh, at the same time. We're going to continue holding those two buttons down until you see us boot into that screen. And what happened actually is I didn't let go of these buttons at the exact same time. So it skipped me to a different menu in recovery mode. If that happens to you just like it did for me, we need to use the volume down button to highlight the back to main menu option. And then we're going to press the power button to select that option because we need to use the power the physical buttons since the touch screen is not responsive. As long as you have not installed a custom recovery, you're likely going to boot into a recovery mode that looks like this. If you've installed something like TWRP or one of the many other custom recoveries, um, you're going to be booting into that custom recovery whenever you do this button combination instead of the stock recovery because you had previously installed that. You're still going to have access to these features in that custom recovery though, so it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Now once we are in recovery mode, we're able to access a couple of different features. By default, this menu is going to be so uh, highlighted on the reboot option. So if we press the power button, just like we saw before, it's going to take us to the reboot menu where we can actually re reboot back into system, which is system is Android, or we can go back to the main menu again by using the dedicated hardware buttons. Now the main feature of recovery mode is not actually to recover your personal data, it's to recover the Android operating system. So the big feature here, which a lot of people who are currently in a boot loop are going to be using, is the wipe data option. So again, just like before, we highlight that option, make sure that it is blue, and then we press the power button to select it to go into the wipe data menu. And from here, we can do a full factory data reset or again, we can back out and go back to the main menu. Now the last option here is the ability to connect to Mi Assist, which I believe is called Xiaomi PC Suite on the computer. The company may have renamed these programs, but I want to say that sounds familiar. I'll be sure to look this up whenever I upload the video and include the exact name in the video description. 
but this is another way of recovering data, doing backups, and a way to connect your Xiaomi Redmi Note 10 to the PC and to that PC program. Now, whether or not you are booting into recovery mode on purpose or not, this video I showed you how to boot into recovery mode, but I know a lot of people are going to be booting into recovery mode by accident. It's possible that cases can press these buttons down while you're rebooting. It's possible that you just held down the buttons on accident. Sometimes even boot loops will fail back and boot you into recovery mode or fast boot mode. So if that's the case, the normal way of booting out of recovery mode is by highlighting the reboot button or the reboot option, pressing the power button to select it, making sure the reboot to system option is highlighted, and again, pressing the power button to select that option. This is gonna cause the Xiaomi Redmi Note 10 Pro to reboot and at least attempt to boot back into Android. Again, if you're currently having a boot loop and it's forcing you back into recovery mode, there's something wrong with the Android install. Could be some corrupt data, could be failed hardware. Usually it's a software related issue, but it could be some type of failed hardware issue. If that's the case, the main suggestion to fix that is to do a factory reset from the recovery mode that we were just in. So there you have it. That is how to boot the Xiaomi Redmi Note 10, the Redmi Note 10 Pro, the Redmi Note 10 Pro Max, and the Redmi Note 10 S how to boot all of those devices both into recovery mode as well as how to boot out of recovery mode.